Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony and this is Tales from the Junkyard. Behind me, as you can see, is my 1965 Plymouth Barracuda, bathed in the glorious light that is the fluorescence. And as promised in the last video, we're gonna go over this vehicle a little bit. Uh, before we get to that, I hope you liked the last video. It may have been a little rough, I apologize. But if you want, please subscribe, give it a like, and share it. All right, let's begin. So, 1965 Plymouth Barracuda. Yes, I know, it's not the stock hood. I did that on purpose. We'll discuss that further later. However, this will be the subject of my project in the coming months, weeks, days, years. I don't know. But for now, we're going to take it a piece at a time. The first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, a little something that's inside the car. And yes, I'm aware that is an atomic MSD fuel injection hand control unit. You heard that right. It does have fuel injection. But what we're not going to focus on that. What we're going to work on is the instrument cluster. You see that beautiful rectangle thing in there? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work right. For obvious reasons. Old car, the things that don't work. Shocker. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to retrofit some gauges into there. Some stuff, maybe even get it to work a little more modern. Let me show you what I got. Ah, remember the mystery box from earlier? Well, it's time to do some unboxing. Oh, it's a hands video. All right, let's see what we got in here. Another box. Okay, sure. Let's put this over here. Gently. Let's see. Oh, oh, what do we got here? So... This is a spare piece that I had laying around, just in case. But the star of the show is this right here. So what you're looking at are gauges from a company called New Vintage USA. By the way, awesome help from those guys. We got a speedometer here, 140 speedo. And we got a quad gauge to give us our uh, fuel, our uh, ammeter, I'm sorry, our voltmeter, water temperature, and oil pressure. All, all important things. What else we got in here? Instruction manual, very nice. We got a, what is this? Hall effect speedometer, very nice, okay. And, oh, this business card. Once again, these guys are awesome, great support. I wanna give them a call if you need your gauges done or if you need to buy new stuff. Let's see, we got some sensors in here, we got a, that Hall Effect speedometer sensor. Okay, very nice. We got a oil pressure sensor. A couple of switches. I guess we'll find out what these are for later. Okay, we got a temp sensor and the adapters, I'm assuming. Yep. And we got some hardware back here. All right. Well, let's move this to the side. Let's see what we got here. Speedometer looking very nice. As you can see, a little screen in there. That's what I mean. It's going to be a little bit more modern than what came on this vehicle. Yeah. Oh, very nice. We got a wiring harness back here. Cool. Let's see. We got the quad gauge cluster. Same thing. Wiring harness. Very cool. I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but this is actually all metal inside of there. Look at that. That's very cool. Chrome surrounds, very nice. Now, obviously, none of the things that I just bought will fit directly in here. Why would you think that? That's, that's just, come on now. But I will be able to put them in there because they're just close enough. Just a little bit of trimming around the interior edges, and I think we can get these in there. Well, at least we're going to find out. So that'll be the first project for this vehicle behind me here. And you're going to come along with me. And hopefully you enjoy the journey. Uh, we're going to go over uh, trials and tribulations with this, because there's always trials and tribulations. I don't care how small this project is. And uh, we're going to see if we can make it work. With vehicles like these, unfortunately, a lot of the time you end up having to make stuff yourself, which is par for the course. So 
uh, as once my dad would tell me, this is uh, just part of the fun. So once again, thank you for watching. My name is Anthony and this is Tales from the Junkyard. I hope you like this video. I hope that you'll stick around for the project. Um, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And uh, yeah, let's get this happening. All right, see you next time.